The BCE First Nations Languages curriculum is tailored to meet all different age groups from prep right through to year 10. In looking at First Nations languages, it's important because it allows the context of our Australian history and of the local area to actually be taught to students. We have traditionally in the past had other languages. However, with learning a First Nations language, the students are learning about culture, are learning about the significance of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and how their relationships and their community actually impacts on their lives. So it has, actually has a really great practical application. We are teaching Yugambe, which is a local language of South East Queensland. And it's really important that the students get to understand the culture of the First Nations people that lived in this area, as well as make a connection with a lot of the words that were spoken and they can relate to a lot of our place names in our area. So it's really special. We've learned the way to say hello, which is jing, jingkiri. We also know how to say hello children, which is jingri jajuns. We also know how to say how are you doing or how's it going as in minyuku. There's baoku for good. This is a fantastic program because we've been able to create a curriculum that covers the whole of the diocese and each area can actually cater that curriculum to its local language and make sure that we're really embracing all of the things that we need to for that particular area and that particular language. One thing really important about um, First Nations languages is that it does foster reconciliation. I suppose it really contributes to closing the gap for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students and allows them to achieve and have a good outcomes, very positive outcomes really, in an area that they're familiar with. My family sings and says special songs of words at home, which is part of our culture, which makes me very proud to share with others.